communication system. Okay, this I'll be going quite fast and we touch on the mostly the main important points. And I want to make it as easy to remember and as intuitively as possible. So I'll be giving a lot of real life examples. Okay, the basis of communication, we are doing radio waves. So modulation is our main thing. That is going to be our main basis of our communica of communication system. Okay, what is modulation? What in the world is modulation? Okay, when we speak, like you know, there's a guy just shouts at somebody, you have to be able to receive. Someone has to receive the message. So you have a sender and a receiver. So when I talk, you have to listen. That's how you communicate. A message must be sent and received. In this case, sometimes people are far away and there's a distance. So how are you supposed to send a message that is far away? They'll simply shout, the message will be lost and then it won't reach. If it won't reach, that's not effective communication. Effective communication is when it reaches, the message reaches the, the recipient. Okay. In real life, we have what is this called? So people sometimes they send mail. So in terms of writing, we have this example. I want to use an example here is mail. Mail you have letter. But a letter cannot just reach the receiver. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work this way. You have to put the letter inside the envelope. You put it in the envelope and then the envelope reach the receiver. But to decode the message, the receiver needs to open the envelope. Okay, I think you can understand all these points. These are all very intuitive and very basic. So here is um, how it happens. You need some modulation. Modulation is basically the post, the post system, the post office system. You have a message. And you must modulate the message. And then once you modulate the message, you're able to send it over. And you must and after that you must demodulate the message. Demodulate and then you retrieve original message. Okay, sounds pretty good. And when you send over, this is what you call a carrier signal carrier signal. A message is what you call the, the message signal. So in a reference to the letter, so you put a letter and you put inside the envelope. This is your, your mail system. The mailman will deliver it for you. You open letter, open the envelope. And then you read letter, read the letter. Okay, it's very. This is so modulate and demodulate, and that's how it came to a term called modem. Because modem is essentially the term or the abbreviation term of modulator and demodulator. They can modulate message and demodulate message to send over, and there it is. Modem for part one.